So I've always loved walking around cities and showing people what's there, what's there to be seen. And this is kind of how I got fascinated in GPS. Because obviously what GPS allows you to do is it allows you to attach the stories of the past, the stuff of history. It allows you to attach them to the objects, to the buildings, to the fabric of the city. So it's an ideal way of uh, talking about the things that interest me, about street corners, about the way that people assemble uh, in shops, uh, the way that coats of arms talk to us from the past about the people that lived in the buildings uh, that we're standing in front of. Rather than just have your standard historian or tour guide taking people around the city, we thought it'd be really interesting to have a period character, an invented voice, but nonetheless a period character who essentially acts as your guide. And we felt that that would just be so much more immersive. In a way, you experience the city with the character. In a lot of ways, the app is about going to places that, that people don't normally go to, that are off the beaten track of tourist itineraries. So the idea, I suppose, was to find a character that could also give a different point of view in Florence. In this case, with Giovanni the Woolworker. Welcome to Florence. I'm Giovanni, Giovanni Di Marco. It's the year of our Lord, 1490. Well, Giovanni is a, a war worker from, from roughly about 1490. Um, he's one of the, if you like, the disenfranchised majority of Florence. He's a non-citizen. He's one of the people who work in the vast Florentine textile industry. He's one of the, if you like, one of the people who make Florence tick. If we have an imagined user for this app, we we'll probably imagine individuals with their smartphone. But obviously for our trial, or various trials that we've made over the past few months, We've worked with small groups, and it's quite interesting to see how uh, they respond in different ways to the audio content, to the specialist information that we're providing, and obviously to the visual cues that the phone screen offers. And then, principally, what I've found very, very interesting is to see how, once they've actually been introduced to the object that they're looking at, they will spend most of the time looking at the object. It's a way of directly communicating information with the visual subject of your inquiry in front of you. Obviously for an urban historian this unlocks enormous potential because the fabric of the cities of Italy is in many cases still intact. For example, the workshop. Well done, you found it. The idea there was to bring Giovanni to a location where we could talk about a building which was very, very significant in the history of Florence, the cathedral. But rather than talk about the cathedral standing in front of the cathedral or up on the top of the dome, we wanted to take a location which gave our listeners an idea of how that massive dome was constructed by people. So we take you to the, essentially the modern site of the Cathedral Works Office, to the, to the Bottega, where stonecutters still work to create the replacement sculptures that adorn the exterior of the cathedral. In the background you can see the dome and Giovanni talks to you about the way that Florence is produced by, by workers like him, whether they're making wool cloth or whether they're building the buildings of the city. When people go around Florence they get stories about the Medici, they get stories about the Rucciolai, they get stories about the Strozzi, whose palace I'm now standing in front of. What they rarely get are stories about wool workers like Giovanni. So we thought this was a really interesting way to impart uh, 50 or 60 years of research into social history of a city that really isn't normally presented to people. One of the things that made this project really quite exciting is that we're all increasingly aware um, of how we navigate the city using maps. Uh, Google Maps are something that everybody is conversant with. Rather than use a modern map, what we were able to do with Calvium was to peg the 16th century map made by Stefano Bonsignori, uh, the most accurate map of Renaissance Florence. We were able to peg that to a modern street map. So what the user is able to do is walk around the city, if you like, in a 16th century street view experience, where the environment that they're walking through is represented, is visualized on the screen as a woodcut, an original woodcut in the 16th century. And they can see their own avatar, their, their own self, walking in the 16th century map. 